Most dental clinics during medical and humanitarian missions don't have the capability to restore and repair teeth. For the most part, dentists are there to alleviate pain through extraction. But that wasn't the case at Pacific Angel, Vietnam. Well, to conduct a large-scale uh, large medical clinic uh, above just simple extractions is, is a pretty significant logistical undertaking. Uh, we were, able to, we we're fortunate enough to be able to partner with East Meets West Foundation here. They're, they're based out of Da Nang. They've been here 20 years. And uh, all the equipment that they brought, um, we're able to uh, augment the capability they brought up with our dentists and our dental technicians. And we're actually able to do complete uh, restoration and, uh, and fillings. This new capability was not only beneficial for the patients who came out to the clinic, it also opened a few doors for the dental team to reintroduce the U.S. to Vietnam. I think it affects the way they look at the military as a whole. Now they see us coming in, helping them. Um, with the dental part, they were saying thank you, thank you. And I think um, them not having had that treatment before, um, we was doing several fillings and several cleanings that I guess other the military people had come in and haven't done before. And for us to come in and actually to give them that service that they haven't gotten or can't get downtown was a great help to them and made, us see, made them see us in a different light. And it was lights, suction, and several other pieces that set this clinic apart. You can see that this involves uh, portable units, portable hand pieces, suction, lights, and, and much more um, material and equipment is involved. But here we can do fillings, we can do uh, resin fillings and alloy fillings, and we're able to start endodontic treatments in the field. We're also able to take portable x-rays. So again, very high levels of care for being out in a very remote area. Captain Kraft went on to describe just how much can be done through the combined efforts of the military and non-government organizations like East Meets West. I believe what we're seeing here today in our uh, DENCAP site in Dong Ha is uh, the advantage that the military has in partnering with an established NGO program. Uh, what we're able to do uh, on this particular exercise is advanced levels of dental care such as cleanings, fillings, sealants, preventative services, x-rays, uh, complete treatment exams, fluoride treatments as well as extractions. Uh, on a typical military mission, the care is often limited to just emergency care, and that often means just extractions. But on this particular uh, type of mission, we're able to do elevated levels of care, which involves a lot of equipment and instruments, such as compressors, dental units, hand pieces, lights, generators, and uh, multitudes of instruments, operative and surgical. Dental was by far the busiest section during Pacific Angel Vietnam, but according to Tech Sergeant Nelson, it was worth every ounce of sweat. I was able to go, I mean, even though we had long, hard days, imagine how hard these people work. And to come here and give them that dental care that they usually don't receive, uh, it just brought tears to my eyes. I was so excited. I went home and was able to relax and sleep, knowing that I helped so many. We've seen a lot of patients here. Marine Sergeant Will Skelton, Quan Tri, Vietnam.